Hello, Mr. GK. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing fine. It is so great to sit down with you. I know that there's so much going on. You're releasing back to back hits. Yes, so. Yes, so. Let's talk about your album, The Brothers Keeper. How did it come about? For me, I would say, Brothers Keeper, you know, instead of my where I am now, you know, knowing that in my time of pleasure now, you know, I always have to ask myself, hope my brothers are in um, pleasurable conditions. And it mustn't be my brother from my father, it mustn't be, you know, maternal, you know, it's just. My brothers, you know, my friends. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, in a place of actual responsibility. I believe to my fans too. I, I, when you remember how hard you criticize yourself, and you just wonder how you even inspire people, you know that. So, learning more about the man behind the music. Yeah. When you were growing up, what kind of music did you listen? To because I always find that the kind of music that you listen to growing up, oftentimes, Thanks. yes, it influences no, the kind of music it, it, that you make. It influences make. it a lot. I mean, I used to listen to the likes of Chris Brown, Usher, mm. Tracy Chapman, um, Dolly Parton. Wow. And one thing you c you can tell about all these people is they were all storytellers. If you had to describe your sound with one word, I always call it Afro stories. Because you know, when you're making Afro music, you know, music from Africa, most times it's Afro. You know, even if you're singing R and B. Afro, even though it's a, you know, so for me, I just, it's a combination of, you know, stories and, you know, as much emotions as I get in there. You know, I feel like we've been very deep in this. I want to ask you a fun question now. If you could <laughs> pick your ideal collaboration, dead or right alive, now. international, passenger, and then look, really? Straight up, anything, anytime. You only miss the light when you only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know your lover when you let her go. Now, your previous album was called Boo. To the yes, Buddhist. yes. Are you still booless? Are you booless? Are you booed up? Because you know, there was a time where it was trending on social media. You're yeah. looking for this beautiful girl that was yes. dancing at a wedding. Well, Did you ever find her? Wow, the fact that you know when she got married. Were you guys in cahoots? Was there no, a little... no, no, that was nothing. It's just uh, she's a huge fan of my music and, uh, you know. She's also a great person. What are the things that you look for in a lady? I'm drawn to beauty. I'm extremely drawn to beauty. So you can always get beauty and brains. Why do I need to get brains without beauty? All right, Chike, thank you so much for sitting down with me and having this wonderful chit chat right here on Touching Base. It has been an yes. absolute pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I wish we could stay longer. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll go with your fish. Don't worry. Don't, don't invite me. Don't tell me you're the good time. <laughs>